surgery peeps here I am again this is uh, the week two check-in for the bust and loose 2012 February challenge I am not so I'm not ashamed to say I have had a really tough week um, I work out a lot y'all know that I mean seriously I eight pool classes a week six Zumba classes a week I got Zumba DVDs from a beautiful weight loss surgery person who gifted them to me. I walk three miles a day. We just are almost finished with today's three miles. Um, and I'm do, I do pretty well with my food. I mean, I added a few carbs. My dietician, you know, last night that I met with even told me to do that. And uh, it was it worked really well last week. I lost 3.4 pounds, and then this week I actually went up a, a pound before finally coming down a pound and then another pound. So I am down one pound for this past week, but it was a troubling week for me. It was I was really struggling with the food thing, um, with the depression and anxiety thing that makes me want to eat, eat, eat. Um, it's so funny because I love, love, love you guys at Bust and Loose. But this week I resented the hell out of you because it was like if it wasn't for the challenge, I would have been gobbling and not caring. But the challenge is keeping me real, it's keeping me accountable. But at the same time, it was making me really mad because I didn't want to have that challenge to have to stick to. But I mean, ultimately, of course, you guys, I'm glad. I'm so glad that I have that keeping me in check and keeping me together because um, it's tough. For example, my darling husband went to get the half price Valentine's candy today. And usually that's not that tempting to me because it's stuff like cinnamon hearts and uh, sweethearts and you know, those little Valentine things that are written on. I, I can resist those. And he brought home a bag of Valentine's peanut m and and that thing is just mocking me, calling to me, taunting me. <laughs> well, we agreed not to open it up this month, so. But it's that kind of thing that usually it's like, no problem, I've got a challenge, I'm motivated, I'm doing it, I'm pushing through, and that has not come so easily this week. Uh, I'm proud to say I did, you know, I worked through it uh, without succumbing, and I, you know, I had a few times, I we went to Costco, and they were giving out all kinds of snicky snack treats, and I, you know, I tried, what I, I ate all the protein things, and when it came to stuff like, um, you know, like the Quaker energy bars, which were really nothing more than cookies, I would have one bite and then give it to my husband, but, so I, I, you know, I'm, I'm hanging in there, I'm hanging in there by the skin of my teeth, what can I say, um, it's life, and it's something I'm going to be dealing with, obviously, for the rest of my life, uh, this last 10 pounds is just not being easy, I mean, now I am at 170.4 today, which means if I can get down to 169, I am within the 160s, and 160 is my doctor's goal for me, so, wow, I'm almost there, you know, scratching and clawing my way there for me right now and I mean I couldn't I couldn't work out more so that's obviously not the issue and I think I can feel good about that and I'm looking on that as a major victory you know I worked out two hours in the pool today um, we were on this walk and I'm doing zoom at night so there I I will end this video saying yay for me I'm working out a lot I'm dealing with the food I'm not overdoing it with the food I'm, I'm, I'm keeping accountable and um, if anyone has any questions I do love to answer questions and in fact I do have some exciting news to report that uh, last night uh, I'm waiting for that plane to pass a little bit last night I went to the seminar where I speak and I again approached my doctor telling him that he needs to hire me as a liaison navigator for his weight loss surgery people because there have been some situations recently a woman that almost picked him but didn't get the handhold
building she was looking for, so she picked Stanford and lost out on a great surgeon, Dr. John Fagg, my surgeon, and a woman last night in the support group who was three weeks out, she was dehydrated, she wasn't getting her protein, she was depressed, she needs somebody to take an interest in her, and the people uh, in the department are just too, they're too stressed, they're, you know, keeping up with their regular duties to do that kind of hand-holding. Moi, there I am, ready and so willing to be there, to be the liaison, to take an active interest, to do house calls if needed. That's what I would love to make my work, my life's work. I'm passionate about it. I want to help other people succeed the way I have. I want to turn them on to the Bust and Loose group. I want them to have the support they need, whatever the surgery they have. And I believe that in having me contact everybody who comes to a seminar and help them choose, help them realize how great the place is, they'd make a ton more money than they'd pay me for a part-time job. So the exciting news is, is that uh, I have been told that I can make a presentation, a written presentation, and they will pass it on to the Bariatric Center of Excellence uh, Department. And who knows, if I do the right thing, I may end up with a job now. And maybe that's why these other jobs have been turning me down. Maybe I'm not meant to have those other jobs and I'm meant to have this one. So pray for that for me. Keep me in your prayers, you know, both the food struggle <laughs> and this job thing. And But I want to be there for all of you no matter what I'm going through. So if you have any questions or you need a helping hand, please reach out to me. And meanwhile, I will be back next week. I love you all. Bye-bye. Mwah! Yeah, aren't we lucky here in California? <laughs> it's really quite cold here right now, but compared to you guys on the East Coast, I can't complain. Bye-bye.